Good morning, students. Good morning. How are you today? Fine, no? A happy range or happy sounds have fallen on the ground, no? <laughs> that means happy rain, happy sour, happy raining. This, this, okay. That means we have we have happy showers. We have been happy showers. This, this, okay. No matter. Uh, let us resume our grammar class. Today we shall discuss future perfect tense. Already we have finished future indefinite tense, future continuous tense. Now today let us start future perfect tense. Okay, this very online class, this very online class has been arranged by the Badalen in Kong television channel and I'm Kamala Kantabha Sumutari uh, invited me to discuss the English prose, poetry, grammar, etc. with you. Okay, thank you very much. Today you will see Uses of the fuse of perfect tense. No more uses. Only two or three. But what are the uses of the present perfect, sorry, fuse of perfect tense? Do you know? Have you something knowledge? Yes, yes. I do hope so. Okay. Let me. Resume the class. Firstly, the present perfect tense is used to express, used to express an action. An action that will have been, that will have been. that will have been completed. Not in this, uh, that will be. Mm. Not in this, not it. Let me cut short. That will be completed. Completed at or before at or before a time a time time and future a time or time or an exon an exon and fusa and fusa okay this this is the thing the fusa perfect tense is used to express an exon that will be completed at or before a time or an exon in fusa Okay, now see, example, example, hmm? I'm, I'm giving you the sentence structure or verb patterns of this very tense later, not now. Hmm? Okay, you see. We shall have we shall have 
we shall have finished the work we shall have finished the work by by five pm this we shall have finished the work by five pm we shall have finished shall have finished you see here it is we subject shall auxiliary verb have it is another verb have verb okay then this principal verb in which form it is in pp past participle past participle have it is infinitive form shall it is present tense form okay so in present future perfect tense in future perfect tense there are three verbs there must be three verbs but in present perfect tense or past perfect tense there are only two verbs okay two verbs are enough but here in case of future tense one verb is one verb is required more okay now let me write another sentence she will she will have rest she will have rest she will have rest home home she will have rest home hot okay she will have this form by again time okay by 6 pm like this here also three verbs will have this this okay for future shall this is future tense no in future tense there must be there must be except present continuous tense for future except this in every future tense sentence there must be shall will this auxiliaries okay shall or will okay then what after shall and will here the have verb why have verb because it is perfect tense perfect tense perfect tense for why here have here after the have verb here the main verb in past participle main verb in the past participle okay this then here time 5 p.m. a time a before 5 p.m. an action will have been finished okay will have been finished and the passive voice I'm speaking then you see here she will have reached home by 6 p.m. This under sound, neither she be subject of my third person singular number. Jang mutiko third person singular number jang have verba madai has say has sanango natai hai have jadeng. Beko mutinango. Beko buji yao kabangai hai si tanai hai behai has say he tabla has say natai benua be subject of third person singular number babu. J2 be future tense. 
future tense na lai subject ni unau ne shall eba will be auxiliary verb ar bi auxiliary verb ni unau ji verb jogun be perfect tense na lai ekhane have verb hanango have verb jogun na be have verb ba ma janango infinitive janango infinitive ha tane mane root form janango ar ki root form infinitive ba root form will ni unau ji verb jogun be sob root form jaiye shall will ni unau jonai verb ba be root form jaiye eba infinitive mohor jaiye okay be bini unau se ji main verb be main verb ba past participle mohor ni jaiye past participle mohor ni jaiye ha okay let me write one more Like how she don't blab, be his ear. Now you say they, they will, they will, they will have, they will have submitted, submitted their papers. Their papers. Their papers. They will have submitted their papers. Their papers. Okay. Mm -hmm. They will have submitted their papers. before the final bell this okay they third person plural here will here have here submit it what have you understood this what have you learned from the use of future perfect tense that means suppose actions two actions will be two actions will be done or will happen two incidents two events will happen in future but one of the another one of the another one is first and another one is second one is the next okay the first activity must be expression what future perfect tense and another action should be in present and definite tense not future tense present and definite tense mind it okay present and definite tense hmm you see this so enough now let us proceed to second example sorry second use not example but second use second use de dana neiti bahai nai Future perfect tense ni neti bahay nea ma. See. Two. The future perfect tense is used to express an action. Hmm. An action. The fuse of perfect tense is used to express an action. Which will be 
which will be done or finished or okay finished let me write finished finished the future perfect tense is used to express an action which will be done or finished before another another new future action actually this very one has been also expressed in the number one use yet let us separately do this okay example the same example we shall have we shall have we shall have reached we shall have reached before we shall have reached the stadium before the match starts I see two actions in future one of the another first action second action okay this one is first action shall we shall have reached the stadium then second action is the football match starts huh? the football match starts before the match starts now you see one interesting thing is that the first section should be expressed in future perfect tense future perfect tense and the second one is in what present and definite tense future perfect tense and present and definite tense though it is future though this very action also future yet it, it is not expressed in future tense but in present and definite tense only okay we should mind this many many people or students even teachers make mistake here okay now let me write one more one more okay one more example the train will have left will have left by the time by the time you reach the station you it's the station okay this here also two actions the train will have left by the time you reach the station two actions you see this one will have left this is first action future action first action first fusa first fusa action then this one is you see second action 
second future action okay second future action so the first action first future action is expressed in future perfect tense and second action in present and definite tense though uh, let me repeat this though the second action also future do the second action also future will be done in future yet it is expressed in present and definite tense only not future tense okay that is one of the peculiarity of this very tense okay let's see okay uh, two examples i've given you Okay, now there are some more examples from the book I'm reading out for you. Okay, I shall have typed all the letters by six o'clock. I shall have finished the book by the middle of the next month. The train by the by the end of next month. By the end of next month. He will have been here for 10 years. Okay. Next, the patient will have died. The patient will have died before the doctor arrives. The birds will have flown before winter sets in. Mother will have cooked rice before I reach home. They will have started before sunrise. Okay. This. Okay, exercise will be done later. Now, let us proceed to fuse of perfect continuous tense. Fuse of perfect continuous tense. What future perfect continuous? Okay, and what is the use of this? Hmm, what is the use of this? Hmm. Here also. Two actions or another new time will happen in the future. Two actions, one after another. 
The first section will be continuing for some time or for long time till the another new action takes place. Okay? And before a new time. Okay? This. Let me. The few of perfect continuous tenses used to express an exon. A few of exon. Which will. Which will. which will uh, be which will be continuing which will be continuing till another new fusion Exon or time. Okay, this. This. Let me write out the examples for you. The same. I shall have been learning. I shall have been learning. I shall have been learning. I shall have been learning dance. I shall have been learning dance. Okay. Before before the school starts before the school starts hmm? before the school starts before the school starts before the school starts Okay. Okay, let me stop here. Choose hmm. a perfect continuous tense. Here you see the verb pattern. Four verbs are here. Four verbs. Shall for future auxiliary verb. Then have, that is for perfect tense, have verb. Then been is your be verb for continuous tense, this main verb in ing to express continuity. Okay, I shall have been learning dance before the school. Sarva Sarva Garanti Kalamude, Beko Ishe Mabajatan Lanani, Salangara. Huh? Center school did nail, Garanti Kalamu, Harva Garanti Jayu. Tensa Garanti Jayi, the money. Now, behind my brig to Bhag Tongo. Pew Sanitakai Auxiliary Bhav Shell. Huh? Perfect Nitakai Hebhav 
एच भि बेनी कन्टिन्यूस भार्ट और मेन भार्ट मेन भार्ट मायू थ आई एन जी फर्म और बी भार्ट मायू थ माना बी आगे हेब भार्ट दूर हेब भार्टनी ठीक उन भार्टा हेब भार्टनी ठीक उन भार्टा गाची पास पार्टिसिपल जानको एखे बे बी भार्टा बे बी भार्टा मा बे बी भार्टा पी पी आव दो पास पार्टिसिपल बे ओके लाइट मे राइट एन आर She will have been. She will have been preparing. She will have been preparing for. She will have been preparing for. Preparing for the final for the exam. Okay, simply the exam. Okay. So before it commences. Before it commences, okay. This she subject will have been preparing. Okay, this is first action, and second action is this here. Before it commences, here also before the school starts. Okay, two two actions, one first, another one. Secondly, leave to. Okay, let me write a few more examples. If you have any. What confusion? Please tell me. Let me try to explain you. Hmm. Let me try to explain it for you further elaborately. Okay. Number three. See. Raju will have been will have been Raju will have been learning Raju will have been teaching the kids Before, before or till, okay. Raju will have been teaching the kids. Okay. Let me write here till. Till his till his till his till his course till his. एम ए कोर्स स्टार्ट दिस 
will have been teaching the kids till his MA course starts. That he has been admitted or he has taken admission an MA in the Borderland University. But due to this coronavirus lockdown, etc., his classes, MA classes has been stopped. And the classes have been stopped. Okay. This. Okay. No more. Hmm? No more. Now, one thing is here. One important thing is here. What? The use of shell and will. We should know this. The use of shell and will. We should be clear. Okay, we should be cl clear. The use of silent wish. Wait a bit, wait a bit. I'm in trouble. Okay. You see, Eugene, Eugene, two auxiliary verbs, two auxiliary verbs, two auxiliary verbs. Shall and will. These two are used in future tense. These two are used in future tense. Okay. These two are very commonly actually used. And future tense. Now you see what are the uses of shall and will? Okay, there is restrictions in using of these two auxiliaries. Shall is generally used for first person singular and plural, no matter, but for first person shall is used. Hmm, shall is used with first person. But singular and plural, and oil is used generally or actually or simply, and with what second person and third person. Okay, but there is some there are some other rules that we can use shell with us second and third person also second and third person. Okay. And will is actually used with um, the second person, third person, no? but exceptionally we can use this very auxiliary part with first person, but singular and plural. You mind it? The shell could generally ma first person jung bahai, be singular and plural and ja. Or it will go generally, usually, second or third person. Not high, we have a uh, special name, you rules. So, we have an expression 
फार्स पार्टन जो सेल बहुत उल बहु और सेकेंड थार्ड पार्टन जो उल बहुत सेल बहु से माला आंसे एग्जामपल खानी आई सेल ग आई सेल गम टुमारो आ गब नौ आई सेल गम टुमारो सेल ग सेल ग आया सबजेक्ट फार्स पार्टन सिंगलर बेजें सेल जो आई सेल गम टुमारो आ गब नौ सीबा सिगव बुद्धि सिगव बुद्ध ना बीफा मेसा लग हमें लजिंग बहुत आ गब नफा अफा बुंबाफ्रा बुबा नंखाई नो नाई माब्ला नौ थेर बैन ना ए माने बे सेल ग सेल होने गबन जो नौ थे इसे लूस जो लूस माने गख्रंथिया कम जो थाना हागो नाथा बहुत जो जी सेल बदल उल हो उल हो आई उल गो हम टमरो बे मा दाख उल ग फार्स पार्टी चेन जेनेलि सेल से जो ना बे उल बहुत एक्सेपनल इन सन सामा जाख सन सजा गख्रंथी दंग हागो दे मानना उल भार बहुना सेल बहुत उल बहुदे थो बेबादी आ बेबादी दानिया नाय उल कम बेक सुल कम बेक सुन बप गेटिंग फिनगन बप गेटिंग फिनगन आप गेटिंग मा गी दो गी गया तो इह उल से बहुत तो बेखो इसे गख्रंथी खाने थी आसल इसमें कारेक्ट जाया थे आदने से इसमें कारेक्ट जाया दे सेल कम बेक सुन भी इसमें कारेक्ट जाया थे जस्ट माने खाने थे एग्जामपल आरबे आ दे सीजें से थार्ड पार्टन सेंगलना बेजें सेल बहुत बहुत गख्रंथी होने नामा आसल गख्रंथी नंगा ओरबा बुने दे फार्स पार्सन जो सेल बहुत उल बहुत गख्रंथी डाटी डाटामेसन बेखो फरमायन हाय डाटामेसन फरमान गख्रंथी फरमान मा फार्स पार्सन आई उजों उल बहने जाए और ओजाई थार्ड पार सेकेंड पार्सन और थार्ड पार्सन जो मा उल बहुत एक्चुअल उल जाए उल बहुत सेल बहु बहने जाए मान माला गख्रंथी फरमायन इसे गख्रंथी फरमान माला थर्डार माला दाद्री हो माला सिगिनाई एफरबाद सेंस फरमान थ्रिटेनिंग हेजिटेशन एफरबाद को फरमान मा जाए थार्ड पार्सन और सेकेंड पार्सन जो उल बहुत सेल बहने जाए बहुत ओर जो सान श्री कल खाम वैक्सीन श्री सेल खाम वैक्सीन सर भी नौ थगन भी नौ थगन बेत थे ना ना थे भी आई ना आ बेखो बुखाबना बे थप फैफिनगे बे अच्छा फ्यूम एग्जामपल इूसी शर्टली हाँ डेट इज न मोर टाइम से 
uh, she will do the sum. She will do the sum. Or she will clean the room. Okay. She will clean the room. Very simple. And simple sense. But in place of will, if we use if we use shall, she shall clean the room. Let's see. She shall clean the room. Be a mother way. Add ten the jabay. Order her jabay. Hey, be a room cause of a column nangan. Huh, be a dinny pia kina. Pick up one bedroom cause of a column nangan. Kanta. Angole bunkabai. Be my dear. Now you see. You will be punished. You will be punished. Nanga Sadaman Gende, Kirkan Tigia Manabi Kamani Kamune, Sadaman Nuahagun, Bidi, Lerbanti. Natai, Gurkan Tibian Takai, Sigine Takai, Maklam, Rehai. You shall be. Nanko Sadana Jagan, Nanga Sadaman Gun, Big Kamani Guarantee, Bagadri Kamani Monen Takai, Biba Dia, huh? Aradum Bowl, the Malaba Sommanubla, Ecosauri Bogan, huh? Dinin Takai, Hambaina, Nasara Mudami Pride, Be Shallari Uisni, Mane Wilni, G. Uses. Bahay nai, beko majang nai, salang nanggo, parai nanggo. Gabanga, mabunga, eh ayjeng, ujeng, shallo jaye, first person jeng shallo jaye, second person jeng ul jaye, third person jeng ul jaye, arbini ulta jaya. Nonga bidi nonga, dadri khnai belayau, sigi nai belayau, ha, order khnai belayau, ma, second or third person jeng be, ul bahay halas nai shall bahay nai nanggo, beara. Okay, let us stop here our class and meet tomorrow again. Bye.